Am I allowed to modify the speed on an e-bike to go over 40? Haha. If I didn't make, make this clear earlier, in order for an e-bike to be an e-bike, it cannot be capable of going more than 32 kilometers an hour. So what happens if you modify it to go over 32 kilometers an hour? It reverts to its original motor vehicle status, requiring license ownership and a driver's license. Sorry, license for you, the motor, motorcycle license, not a bicycle license, motorcycle license. It requires a permit and insurance. Yeah. So um, if you don't have that, the fines for no insurance of a motor vehicle in Ontario start at $5,000 and go to a maximum of $25,000 on your first conviction. Also, you're eligible for up to six months in jail. So no, you cannot make an e-bike to go over 40. However, there are tons of people who do. And that brings me to thermal runaway. When you modify an e-bike very often, it causes things to go south. And I mean that in the set fire to itself, thermal runaway, fire, bad. There were over 50 e-bikes and e-kick scooters that went up in smoke in the city of Toronto last year. Uh, check it out, TPS Traffic Jam for the podcast, uh, talking to Deputy Chief Larry Coco on that very topic. Good stuff to know. So not only is it illegal to be on the road, it's a bad idea because fires happen when you modify things, or can anyway.